Shout it loud, hallelujah. The Lord has so many things to do here this morning. This is why the enemy has been raging. But whether the devil likes it or not, this is your morning in Jesus' name. And therefore, louder than anyone here, I want you to sing three warfare songs. Three warfare songs. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. The louder you sing these warfare songs, the faster the breakthroughs that will come to you this morning. The first one says, If I be a child of God, let fire fall. Can you say that and let me hear you? I want you to sing like the prophet Elijah of old. If I be a child of God, let fire fall. If I be a child of God, let fire fall. If I be a child of God, let fire fall. If I be a child of God, let Hallelujah. If I be a child of God, let fire. Hallelujah. If I be a child of God, let fire. If I be a child of God, let Hallelujah. If I be a child of God, let fire fall. If I be a child of God, let fire. Hallelujah. If I be a child of God. Yes, if I be a child of God, let Hallelujah. I be a child of God, let fire fall. If I be a child of God, let Hallelujah. If I be a child of God, fire fall. If I be a child of God, let fire fall. Amen. The fire is already falling. This is number two. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And my enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Hallelujah. Let God. And my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And my enemies be scattered. Let go, let go, arise, hallelujah, let go, let go, arise, my enemies be scattered, go, arise, my enemies be scattered, let go, let go, arise, all shakeable must be shaken. All move a book I am serving the God of fire. Serving a God of fire. All shake a boom speech. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All move a book I am serving the God of fire. Having a God. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. shake a boom Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All move a book Hallelujah, I'm serving the God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, I'll take it. We will keep on moving. I'm serving a God of fire. Oh, she keep on speech. Shout hallelujah. There is one prayer I want you to pray before we sit down. As we are praying this prayer, the awesome power of God will begin to move from person to person. There is someone here, there are marks that used to appear on your body and also disappear. There are marks of the enemy. As we begin to pray now, that arrow shall go back to the senders. As we start praying now, someone here, a particular dream triggers off your problem. Beginning from now, the covenant holding that dream in place will be broken to pieces. There is a sister here. You have traveled all over the place. And now you are here. You are, now, you are here with a double mind. Not expecting very much to happen because I've been to many places. But right there where you are, you are receiving a miracle that will shock your doctors. As you pray this prayer too, that swelling by the throat and the anea will just vanish. And the mark of rejection and hatred 
that's going to harass someone here will be broken to pieces. As we begin this prayer too, the spirit of cobwebs will begin to manifest and begin to go. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Any power that has to die for my breakthrough to manifest. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Yes. Basetan de kayabo shendera ba kayaba. Ribo soponde kayabo shendera ba kampa. That's right. Tonight is tonight. Today is today. Enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ma sentende kayabo shentera baraba. E Jesus name we pray. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. That's the power of God moving from person to person. That's right. The serpent that has held you in bondage, the yoke of the serpent is broken. The spirit of death and hell is coming out of his hiding place. That's right. Every power that has been killing the gift of God in your life is being buried now. Thank you, Jesus. You have to pray that prayer one, one more time. Pray it one more time. Every power that has to die for my miracle to manifest. What are you waiting for? Death in the name of Jesus. Yes, power of God is moving. Just receive the touch, the, the touch of the power, the touch of the power, the touch of the power, the touch of the power. Masikaya bo shendera bo kosende yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. There's a lady over there at the back. You're wearing a mixture of white and black. Three different witchcraft powers from three different sources are projected into your body. And you are really not in charge. They are in charge. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. That's right. Let that yoke be broken now. In the name of Jesus. As the person over there. That's right. Father, we thank you for this morning. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered before you here and we praise your holy name because we know you are our rock, you are our strength. We thank you because there is none like unto you. Your power is the absolute power. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, touch us. Today, visit us. Today, do great things in our life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I someone watching this program from somewhere now. This strong man assigned to that person's life is coming out of that person's life. Father, we come before you. Everything that has to die for us to possess our possession and for us to get the maximum you have for us. Let those things die now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen.
Before you sit down, I'd like you to prophesy into the life of seven persons. Make sure there are seven in number. Say, my friend, the angels of God shall pursue your helpers to you. In the name of Jesus, say to seven persons. They shall pursue your help as to you. Amen. Don't sit down yet. Several more persons I want you to prophesy to their lives. Turn to somebody, look at the person straight in the eye. Say, my friend, any power that wants you to die shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus. Say it to seven persons. Say it to seven persons. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a say, God bless you. Glory be to the name of Jesus. This service will be divided into two sections from now on. There is a ministration of the word now to explain to you what you want to do here this morning. Thereafter, we start the deliverance meeting. Shout hallelujah. So for a few minutes, let me share with you what I call deliverance of the head. Deliverance of the head. You see, the enemy has arranged many in his own way. But God shall rearrange them this morning. There are many of us here, uh, slaves are already riding on our horses. And we are trekking. Those servants will be overturned this morning. There are plenty who have been fishing and catching nothing in the ocean of life. But as a result of the program this morning, you will begin to profit. There are plenty that the good seed God has planted in their lives have been eaten up by evil birds. Those evil birds shall be forced to vomit what they've swallowed this morning. There are some too that the serpents of darkness have swallowed their benefits. The power of God shall burst open the serpent's stomach. And what the serpent has swallowed shall be vomited. It shall be vomited. It shall be vomited. It shall be vomited. There are many who cannot even locate their correct life. The enemy has stolen their correct life. You shall repossess your correct life this morning. There is someone looking at me now. Very soon, you are going to be one of the richest in this country. Very soon. There are some who have been laboring under iron like curses. Those curses shall be broken to pieces this morning. Now, all those that have been suffering from agents of satanic embarrassment, something will happen to you this morning, and there shall be a thorough deliverance. In Genesis chapter 3, I read verse 15. Genesis 3 15. Deliverance of the head. Genesis 3 15. This is God speaking. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. What God was saying is this. He said, I will put enmity between thee and the woman. 
Here God was addressing Adam and Eve and Satan at the same time. He's saying there will be war between them. He said, I will make you enemies of each other. There will be eternal disagreement between you and between your seed and her seed. You shall bruise the head, he says, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Keep this wonderful scripture at the back of your mind. When we say deliverance, deliverance is a very big word. Deliverance is a process by which God delivers his people from bondage. Deliverance is a process by which God releases those who are oppressed and paralyzed by the enemy. Deliverance is to detach cobwebs of darkness from your destiny. Deliverance is to close the doors against the enemy. Deliverance is to, is to dismantle every evil platform provided for you by your ancestors. Deliverance is to uproot any evil seed planted somewhere. Deliverance is the breaking of bondages. Deliverance is the removal of satanic embargo. Deliverance is the destroying of the works of darkness. Deliverance is casting out of evil spirit from a person, a place, or a thing. Deliverance is breaking of curses, spells, and bewitchment. Deliverance is the breaking of evil yokes and evil jinx. Deliverance is losing the bounds of wickedness. Deliverance is breaking of evil covenants or evil contracts or promissory notes. Deliverance is cleansing from every spiritual mark. Deliverance is to undo every burdens. Deliverance is to escape from satanic prison. Deliverance is to dismantle any stronghold standing against or moving forward. Deliverance is to capture back whatever the enemy has stolen. Deliverance is to rebel against the anointing of the tail when you are supposed to be the head. Deliverance is to kill every serpent and scorpions of darkness assigned against you. No wonder the Bible says Jesus came to save, to heal, and to deliver. And so one third of the ministry of Jesus was devoted to that deliverance. And the Bible says, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. It is after that deliverance that the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Deliverance is to deliver your star from star hunters. Deliverance is to eject all those evil tenants living in the habitation of your life. Deliverance is to sack quick notice on every form of infirmity. Deliverance is to allow the divine circumcision of your heart. Deliverance is to break every enchantment of the enemy. It is therefore important, beloved, that we should understand that part of why Jesus came is to deliver us. And of all kinds of deliverance that we carry out, there is a major one that we even sometimes overlook. is the deliverance of the head. Deliverance from a polluted head or a poisoned head or a cursed head. The head is the uppermost and chief member of the body. The head is the most important part of the body. I've seen a legless person who was still alive. I've seen a handless person who was still alive. But you can't find a headless person who is still alive. That your head is a symbol of your destiny. The head houses the skull, the eyes, the mouth, the nostril, and the brain. That's why the Lord put this kind of things in the Bible for us to read. We've just read Genesis 3.15. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his ear. Now take your Bible, go to Second Samuel. Second Samuel chapter 1. Verse 16. When the Bible talks about head, it takes a larger picture than what we think. Even in our local setting, when somebody says your head, he may be speaking of something more than your ordinary head. In Second Samuel chapter 2, verse 16. And David said unto him, Second Samuel chapter, chapter 1, verse 16. Sorry. 16. And David said unto him, Thy blood be upon thy head. For thy mouth hath testified against thee, saying, I've slain the nuns anointed. Blood can be upon somebody's head. And if it is not removed, the crying blood upon the head can escort the person from the cradle to the grave. Any form of shedding of innocent blood puts the blood on the head of the person. 
So there is a physical head as a spiritual head. In Psalm chapter 7, verse 16. Psalm 7, 16. Psalm 7, 16. If there are parents here today who are standing in God for their children who are not doing well in school, I tell you, you are in the right meeting this morning. In Psalm 7, verse 16. He says this. His mischief shall return upon his own head. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own page. So, mischief, trouble can be upon a head. A person may carry a load on that head and may not know at all. In Psalm 23 verse 5, Psalm 23 verse 5, it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. It is the head that will be anointed with oil so that your cup can run over. It's part of the warning of scriptures. The warning in Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus 19, 28. In spite of that warning, many of us have marks, cuttings on our head. Either made by us or made by our parents or made by others. Leviticus 19, 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So putting incisions on your head, those things, they put you into some special bondage. The spiritual power and the significance and symbol of the head was so serious that in Matthew chapter 5, verse 36, Jesus says something. Matthew 5, 36. The significance of the head, the power of the head, the sanctity of the head, and the way it works in the spiritual world as a symbol of our destiny is so serious. Jesus made this statement in Matthew 5:36. Neither shall thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one ear white or black. So don't swear by your head at all. A lot of people have done that in the past. Here we end up with some questions. Why are hands laid on the head? Why are crowns laid on the head? Why do you have prophets, priests, and king being anointed on the head in the Bible? Why is it that in the Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 that we read, it is the head of Satan that was bruised? Why is it that in deliverance, the spirit of death normally hides in the brain? You know, that brain is inside the head and is the coordinating center of the whole body. It is your brain that is responsible for intelligence, memory, power, your conduct, your controls, your hearing, your speech, your taste, your smell, your sight. It controls all your conscious actions and maintains your balance when something goes wrong spiritually with that head the person will not be able to fulfill his or her destiny why does the bible forbid swearing by the head because anything that affects your head affects the totality of your personality and so the hidden source of many problems is in a polluted head or head that have been attacked by the enemy Unfortunately, many things we play with, the enemy does not play with it. Any smart thing you do in this country, now somebody will call you Were. Were Oda. Olori Buruku. Those kinds of words that we speak, they have power to affect our lives. I pray that today, anyone whose head is under any form of attack, or the head of the children, or the husband, or the wife, they shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. They shall be delivered. They shall be delivered. They shall be delivered. They shall be delivered. They shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. How does the head get polluted? Number one, curses issued using the head, whether personally or externally. Some will touch their head and use their head to swear. Some will knock their head on iron in order to swear. Some touch their head, touch their tongue and point their fingers upward to swear. Some will say, my head will punish you. 
All kinds of people will need some form of deliverance or the other on this issue. Number two, when an evil person lays hands on your head, it pollutes your life. Number three, when you cut off your hair, when an evil person has access to your hair, it will use it to manipulate your life. Many of our sisters, I want to do my hair, I want to do my hair. You, you better be careful where you do your hair so that you won't pollute your own head by your own hand. When you see somebody in the saloon who says he wants to do your hair and the fingernails are long like talons of vulture, God have mercy on you. When somebody's head cover is stolen, taken away, and used for manipulation, it can pollute the head. When somebody is being summoned in the spirit realm to come out of the body, referring to his head, that can pollute the body. Plenty of demonic pomades, demonic hair creams that are now available. There are even pomades, hair cream, where the makers will tell you that inside this cream there is Indian hemp. So when you are applying Indian hemp on the surface of your head, God have mercy. Incisions on the head gives the enemy access to harass your brain, to harass your head. All this hanging of leaves on the head because you want to receive a title. All those who get your head possessed and polluted, using that head to carry sacrifices, who put pollution upon that head, shaving your ear for the dead, who pollute your head. Perhaps you were here long, long time ago, you had to go and wash your head satanically washing your heads with demonic soaps all this causes pollution of the head and all kinds of other oppressions are available that the enemy does in order to pollute people's head when this is the situation a person with a polluted head will not yield to good advice when you advise them they won't take it something is already wrong they may be doing well but then the head is already polluted unteachable spirit arguments in ignorance confused dreams all these are aspects of poison or polluted head unexplainable loss of memory crooked thinking avoidance by good things good things should just be avoiding the person all this shows that the head needs attention serious headaches during prayer sessions things moving about in the head unexplainable depths amputated blessings inability to settle down all these are evidence that the head is in trouble and we need to pray some prayers here today when you notice that all children from a particular mother are unprogressive and they are poor they need the deliverance of the head constant failure in examination traces an attack of insanity constant repetition of the same mistake all these are signs that deliverance of the head is needed some have been attacked inside the brain once the spirit of death enters the brain that's the end once the enemy padlocks somebody's brain his destiny is finished any satanic alteration of your brain changes your destiny we were praying for a little girl many years ago who said, I've converted my brother's brain to sawdust. So it's a serious matter when the head or the brain is under satanic attack. The people in medicine will tell you that it has not been possible for them to transplant a brain. It's not possible. Compared to a computer, the brain is far superior. The human brain God has created in such a way that it can capture and store and recall and program more than 600 kinds of information at one second. Once that brain is altered, life is altered. Once the brain is under attack, you find moodiness, fearfulness, taking bad decisions, insanity, arrested development, negative thinking, decreased motivation, sleeping problems, stroke, suicidal feelings, unreasonable crime, forgetfulness, poor concentration, unexplainable headaches, 
feeling dizzy and unsteady, cold flashes, cold hands, cold legs, cold heads, very short attention span, disorganization and procrastination is all attack on the brain. When somebody has trouble learning from an experience, and you find it difficult to avoid careless mistakes, restlessness, all the restlessness, conflict seeking, you're always looking for conflict. They are all evidence that the brain is under attack. Difficulty in awaiting your turn, argumentativeness, addictive behaviors, eating disorders, these are marks of attack on the brain. This brings me back to one professor who was talking one day who said 60% of Nigerians are mad because of the ways they behave. If you say kill, they don't want to kill. If they sit down here, they don't want to sit down there. And there's plenty of decent madness going on. A lot of people in three-piece suit, but inside, the brain is already upside down. That's why we're here today. There are some, they take heavy dose, heavy daily dosage of coffee, every daily dosage of drugs is an attack on the brain. We thank God that in Nigeria now, the preachers seem to be sending the cigarette company out of work. But I see some people who see smoke, which is an evidence that their brain is still under attack. When situation is like this, the Bible tells us that there is a way out. And that's why we're here. In the substitutionary death of Jesus on the cross. His blood was shed seven times. Let's look at the first four. Number one, in Gethsemane, as he prayed in agony. Number two, they disfigured his face. The high priest struck him on the face with rods. Disfigured his face. That symbolizes the terrible nature of sin. The one in Gethsemane symbolizes intercessory prayers then the whip is back 39 strokes the whip is made of pieces of bones with metal inside tearing away the flesh it represents healing of our diseases the fourth shedding of blood was the crown of thorns they put on his head that is in Matthew 27 29 Matthew 27 29 Matthew 27 29 and when they had plated a crown of thorns they put it upon his head and he read in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hail king of the Jews the crown of thorns upon his head was meant for breaking of curses and bringing blessings to our lives those thorns were poisonous the poison represents curses Therefore, anyone who goes about with a cursed head or a poisoned head is doing so by personal decision. Jesus had solved the problem 2,000 years ago. All you have to do now is to call upon him and he will answer. You say, how do I get my head delivered? The first is to surrender your life to Jesus, which is not negotiable at all. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. Because God is not under any obligation to bless a rebellious person. Surrender your life to Jesus. After you surrender your life to Jesus, is then you are qualified to break curses that anyone has addressed on your head. And command deliverance upon that head. So that beginning from now, your destiny will take a new turn. Now we live in very wicked environments where there are powers that steal stars from people's heads by manipulation of the head your greatness can be stolen away now you need to recover the, whatever stars have been stolen from your head reminds me of the story of that occultic man who got born again and he gave his life to Jesus one day he came to service he was not happy he didn't participate in praise worship he didn't do what they were doing he just sat down and somebody asked him, what's the matter? You're not, you're not happy today. He said, yes. He said he was passing under the door bridge. And he found a boy there. Roaming around almost naked under the bridge. And he remembered that when the boy was born, he was there. And they gave him the baby to carry. This baby had seven stars on his head at that time. This man said he was the one that took off all the stars. Now that he's born again, was very sad to see what that person had become. 
I pray that any power that has stolen anyone's stars, they shall return them today in the name of Jesus. They shall return them, they shall return them, they shall return them, they shall return them, they shall return them in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet now. If you are in this meeting now and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, don't waste time. If you want deliverance to come to your head, wherever you are, and you want to surrender your life to Jesus today, just leave that seat and run quickly to the altar at the front here. Jesus is waiting for you here. This is the opportunity you've been waiting for. And don't miss it at all. Those of you who are at the altars, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just close your eyes and bow down your head and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank for this your children. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will lay your hands upon them. And this decision they've taken today, you will establish them in that decision. Father, write their names in the book of life. Keep them standing by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me here. You've taken the most important decision in life. Counselors will talk to you over there. Fill their forms because we want to put you on our prayer list. God bless you as you do so. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and begin to tell the Lord, any sin that will hinder me from being blessed this morning, Father, forgive me. Begin to talk to the Lord now.
no doubts, no fear. Happy with Christ, my Savior, near. Trust in some day that I shall see Jesus, my friend. Old Calvary, Jesus shall lead me night and day. Jesus shall lead me all the to me for I remember Amen Let's rise up on our feet now the prayers we are going to pray now, they are not prayers for the gentlemen at all. Some of these things we want to pray about now started from the womb. So we have to do very aggressive praying. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your right hand on your head now and sing this song loud and clear. I plead them blood. Of Jesus, I plead that oh, blood of Jesus, I plead that blood, that blood of Jesus, I plead that blood, that blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. You may put down your hand now. We have 14 prayers to pray. And we have a very short time to pray them. Very, very short time. But within those short time, what will happen next day will be a reference point for you. Shout this loud and clear. Every power assigned to waste my head. Please pray this one with boiling anger. Sisters, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? I'm sure the sisters can try harder than that. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. Da! In the name of Jesus. Something was happening in your life today. That is why Jesus brought you here. Yes. Yes. Every power assigned to waste anyone's head. Your time is up now. Yes. Open your mouth and declare it. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, you that stubborn infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. You are in the wrong place. Because that place is the tabernacle of the Most High God. So you the problem in the eyes, the serpent in the head, the cancer of the breast 
the evil make flowing in the breast the terrible ulcer the decay and foul smell from the inside the spirit of death in the womb the wicked fibroid hear the word of the Lord that place is not your habitation you the swelling in the body that place is not your habitation so in the name that is above all names which is the name of Jesus I bind you and I cast you out 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus check your body now check it very well do whatever you're not able to do before the power of God is moving check that breast check that womb check that reproductive organ check that your right leg which is getting slightly paralyzed check that ear that cannot hear very well check that child that you have in your hand that is sick something is happening right there where you are yes that is the power of God that is the power of God that is the power of God that's right that's right aha yes 20 persons under terrible witchcraft bondage right there where you are the power of God is falling upon you and the yoke of that witchcraft is broken completely that's number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen that's number nineteen number twenty thank you jesus thank you jesus check your body now check it very well i don't want the devil to put that sickness back on you once you check your body you find that the sickness has gone run quickly to the altar here don't allow the devil to put it back run quickly to the altar so that the devil will not put that sickness back on you everybody will shout this loud and clear arrow of untimely death fired into my brain backfire in the name of Jesus oh yes deal with the arrow of untimely death yes let the power of God begin to move the power that break at every yoke let the power begin to move now thou power of God move 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 mashika ribo soponde ke yabo shanda ribo soponde ke yabo shente rabaraba aha in Jesus name we pray that person is having peppery feeling all over the body that peppery feeling has been cancelled now uh, somebody is here you say you don't dream at all you dream but the enemy removes away your dream beginning from today there is a change that demon in charge of breaking your home has been arrested now I see someone too you are being healed from this very painful menstruation you are being healed from the lower abdominal pain or from the strange noises coming from your stomach uh, someone here the enemy has put demonic pregnancy in your womb preventing the normal pregnancy right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and that yoke is broken completely just check check now and find a way to the altar that person you are finding difficult to breathe take several deep breaths now and your breathing is completely restored thank you Jesus shout this loud and clear my head my head my head hear the word of the Lord can you shout that and let me hear you you have to shout it three times 
Can you shout it again, man? Yes. Aha. Aha. Arise and shout in the name of Jesus. Masetin kaya bo shendera bo kopola baraba. Desenten de kaya bo shendera bo kopola baraba. Aha, aha. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Raise your right hand up now. Father, I commit this hands unto you. Let this hands be charged with your power. Let them be charged with your fire. Let them be charged with your anointing. Whichever part of this the body this hand comes upon, let every hidden poison vanish. In the name of Jesus, you and receive the fire of God. 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 Receive the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Get ready. You are going to smite your head seven times with that hand. As you do so, if there is anything the enemy is hiding there, it will manifest and jump out. Are you ready now? Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Silence now. That's right. Masika tenda ya boshandia. Ribosia li katenda ya bo. Get ready, get ready. Do it again, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. It's happening. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, if you have any infirmity on your body, get ready again. Smite that place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the final time. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. Now check that infirmity. Now check it. Yes, check it. You find that it has vanished. Then find a way quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back at all. Check that body very well. Don't allow the enemy put the problem back. Thank you, Jesus. A lady is here. You are not menstruating at all. There is pain on your, in your abdomen now. Go and check now because the menstruation has started. That's right. Yes. Someone is here, somebody stole your money. They are going to bring your money back to you without any cobble missing. Father, I'm praying. For as many people as are here, an, an evil tree has been planted against them. Thou power of God, fall upon such people now. Let the agenda of the evil tree be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. 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 Aha. What's happening? I see sister here. Your mother has five rings. And she has five children. Each ring represented one child. You are the fourth child. And you are that fourth ring. But right there where you are, that ring has caught fire. And you have been set free. 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 Masekate yabo shende Aha. 21 persons are here. You have been ridiculed and denied of your right position. But within the next 10 days, 
There shall be a restoration. 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 Thank you, Jesus. This is one of the most serious prayers we are going to pray here today. And this is not a prayer to negotiate at all. Every evil law upon my head go back to your center in the name of Jesus. That's right. Something is happening. Bakapo satanda yaba. Ribo sapanda ke yabo shanda. In Jesus them we pray. Grip your head with your two hands. Grip your head with your two hands. And don't say anything for now. Oh yes. Father I'm praying. For anyone who is here. And your ear which represents your glory has been taken away. To the demonic world, and they are using that to manipulate your head right there where you are. Receive your deliverance, receive your deliverance, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Silence now, silence now. Don't say anything again, don't even say amen until I ask you to. Grip your head with your two hands. Father, I'm praying today at anyone who has taken his or her head to an evil saloon. And as a result of that, your virtue has been transferred to the witchcraft meetings. Right there where you are, let the fire begin to burn upon that head. And let the fire begin to release you from that bondage. That's the fire coming upon your head now. That's right. Father, I'm praying for all those people here that an evil hand has been laid upon that head. The satanic agent has laid hands on the head and that has been causing great trouble. Right there where you are, that head is on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. The power of God is coming upon your head and the yoke of the enemy is broken to pieces. Just release, release that head. Release that head. You, the ancestral serpent, let the head go. 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 Every arrow fired into the brain. Come out now. In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. Silence. Madam, I have information for you from heaven. The brain of your child that was removed by polygamous witchcraft has been sent back to the brain. I congratulate you. That's right. Aha. Say any dark invisible cover on my head. Can you shout this loud and clear? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the dark invisible cover. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, three persons here. The enemy has programmed something in your brain that you have to die this year. And something has been telling you death, death, death. But right there where you are. The arrow of death has left your brain and has gone back to the senders. You shall hear very shortly that evil swelling upon the leg has been deflated now. That spirit of internal rottenness has been shaken off now. Say, so any part of darkness. Call him my name. Break in the name of Jesus. That's right. You 
Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Basso ponda kaya boshende rabakanta. Darribo so ponda kaya boshenda. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every curse operating against my head die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every curse operating against my head die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray like that. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power of my father's heart assigned against my brain. In the name of Jesus, the one I signed against my brain, enough is enough. Mas upon the Kayabo Shenteraba, Repoli Katanda, just, just, Mosete Kayabo Shenderabo Kontaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. The power of death. A sign against my head. Da! Open your mouth and pray. Something must happen in your life today. Pakate setende ke yabo shenera bakandia. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is happening here today. Arrows of failure fired into my head. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Makaya Boshendera Bosunta. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every satanic deposit in my head. Die in the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my head, my head, my head. Receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Bokasetende keya boshenta. Aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Now shout this with violent anger. Arrows of bad luck fired into my head. Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes, kill the arrows. Kill the arrows. Kill the arrows. Masete keya bo shende rabo kopola bo raba. Rabo sentende keya bo. In Jesus then we pray. Say, dream Goliath. A sign against my head. Die! In the name of Jesus. 
Deal with the dream Goliaths. Jesus them we pray 1200 persons will love this very serious financial breakthrough before the next palm of single thank you Jesus the spiritual insect biting the head biting the breast biting the womb of his sister is being taken out now So when you say, your ancestors worship serpents, and they planted a serpent in your head. That head is on fire now, and the serpent is coming out, through the mouth, through the nose. Thank you, Jesus. Someone in this meeting, you are from River State. The enemy has cut off your legs. So no matter how you struggle, you find that you are not getting anywhere. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you and your life is undergoing a renovation. Thank you, Jesus. As you pray this next prayer, you begin to shake your head. Say, blood of Jesus! Fire of God! Wash my head! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and start now. Just shake your head as you pray it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Lord has done something for one woman where you are hiding in your seat. Don't allow the devil to bring this problem back. It has gone now. They are waiting for you at the frontier. As many people as believe that deliverance has touched their heads, shout seven Jericho destroy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for this, your children. I pray that your miracle will be permanent. Affliction will never rise again. Within the next 10 days, any stubborn strong man assigned to waste your life. If they do not repent, they shall die. Cover you and your miracle with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring out your bottle of oil now. The Bible says, Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. I'm going to pray on that oil, then take you step by step on what we're going to do with it. Let your amen be dynamic now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We commit this oil unto your holy hands. Let your power, your fire, your glory flow into this oil in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God have moved upon the waters in the beginning. Move upon this oil now in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing. The oil of deliverance. The oil of power. The oil of strength. The oil of glory. The oil of breakthrough. The oil of favor. The oil that will remove every pollution. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Flow into this oil. Blood of Jesus. Flow into the oil. I will sanctify this oil. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that the angel that used to trouble the water, Bethesda, will trouble this oil in the name of Jesus. 
to you father be the glory in jesus mighty name we pray now open the oil open it the first thing to do is to put some portion on your hands and rub those hands together anoint your hands just pour a little bit on your palm and rub it thoroughly through your hands say this after me i anoint my hand the symbol of my labor with oil according to the word of the lord by this act of faith i put my hands in the hands of god i put my hands in the everlasting hands of the almighty henceforth i daniel olukoya my hands shall not be feeble but my hands have been strengthened with the strength of God. Because God is in my right hand. I shall not be moved. My hands are clean. A thousand shall fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. It shall not move close to me. The Lord will open his hands into my hands. And I shall be filled with good things with my hands i shall do valiantly my hands shall not be slack my hands shall not be slothful my hands shall be diligent my hands shall become very rich i shall never experience poverty none of the generation of my children shall be poor i shall not labor in vain I will not bring forth for trouble. With these hands, I will build houses and live in them. With these hands, I will plant vineyard and will eat the fruit thereof. With these hands, I shall excel. My God shall deliver my enemies into my hands. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, a loud amen, a louder amen, a louder amen. Now take the oil again. Now anoint your ears, your ears, the two ears. Let's try. Say, I place this anointing oil on my ear, a symbol of my listening and hearing according to the word of God my ear must hear the word of life my ear shall hear divine secrets my ear shall hear good news all the days of my life I Daniel Olukoya shall not hear the voice of the enemy in the name of Jesus a louder amen. amen a jericho destroying amen. amen now take the oil again put it on your lips that's right if you like you can drink some if you like if you like say so i place this oil in my mouth as a symbol of the presence and power of the holy spirit let the living waters flow into my body and sustain me as this oil enters into my body all disease germs are destroyed all evil presence they are dissolved i receive a mouth and a wisdom which my adversaries shall not be able to resist in the name of jesus a loud amen a louder amen a louder amen now sit down now you, are, you now have to anoint your feet make sure you do that one generously generously on your feet that's right that's right that's right so i place this anointing oil on my feet to sanctify my walking i receive the anointing to tread upon serpents and scorpions 
and over all the powers of the enemy nothing shall harm me I shall not walk in the counsel of the ungodly I shall not stumble I shall move I shall not be paralyzed I shall not walk into danger I shall not walk into slavery I shall walk every day in victory and liberty anywhere I step into the Lord will give it to me there shall not be anyone who will be able to stand on my way to progress all the days of my life my feet hear the word of the Lord take me to my place of prosperity take me to my place of blessings my feet hear the word of the Lord you shall not walk me into danger in the name of Jesus a louder amen now put the oil on your hand as you rise up you are now ready to wash your head with it you apply it on your head as generously as you can particularly your forehead and the center of your head anoint it anoint it that's why you are here just rise up on your feet as you do that thou anointest my head with oil the bible says my cup run it over Something is happening already. Ancient chains have been broken. So I place this oil on my head, which is the symbol of my destiny, according to the word of the Lord. Henceforth, my head and countenance are holy. Henceforth, all curses in my life are removed. All bad luck and disfavor are stopped. I am anointed with the oil of gladness above my fellows. This anointing affects every part of my life. Son of righteousness, arise on me with healing in your wings according to the word of the Lord. This anointing gives me favor in the eyes of men in the eyes of angels in the eyes of God all the days of my life the Lord will bless me and compass with favor according to the word of the Lord it is written the anointing breaks the yoke all yokes upon my head break 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus so if anyone or any enemy send a curse or spell upon my head his curses shall go back to his own head according to the word of the Lord my head shall be lifted up above my enemies round about me my head hear the word of the Lord you must succeed you must prosper my head hear the word of the Lord insanity is not your lord in the name of jesus my head receive the torch of the blood of jesus i give you one minute now to begin to mention names of people you want this prayer to extend to your family now the prayer we just prayed now begin to extend it to them 
extend it to them. You mention their name. You say, I extend it to you. I extend it to you. I extend it to you. In the name of Jesus. I extend it to you. In the name of Jesus. Maseka tenda kaya bo shende rabo konda raba. Desente ya bo koshente raba sanda. Amen. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say for the next seven days. I shall keep anointing my head. Say that again. So today is day one. Anoint your head tomorrow. Do it for seven days. You can do it any time of the day. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Use the oil as general as you can. Thank you, Jesus. The testimonies that are going to come out of this will shake the nations. Bring out your prayer letter now. Father, we commit our prayer letter unto your holy hands. Let every point we have written here become testimonies. I decree that by the time you come here for the next power must change hands, you shall be a bigger bundle of testimonies. It is written that you to the hills shall raise up your head. From there comes your help. The help comes from the Lord who made heavens and earth. Do not suffer your feet to be moved. For he that keepeth you in no slumber, that keepeth Israel shall end slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Then that shall any plague move near your camp. You will go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. September is the month of fruitfulness. You shall get results. You shall be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.